Hi, this is Leslie Davidson. I'm back with more acrylic medium demos. Today we're doing golden acrylic ground for pastels and golden absorbent ground in white. Okay, so the golden acrylic ground for pastels, when I put it on, looked very, very similar to fine pumice gel. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same thing. Um, they look very similar. Oh, no. There's a color difference. You can see the color difference. Acrylic ground for pastels is whiter, is less putty colored, but it's still not white. You could probably add some color to it to um, tone your ground for pastels. Sadly, I do not have pastels. Not a pastel fan, do not use. So I have once again my handy dandy Derwent uh, uh, water soluble sketching pencil. It's nice. I'm going to actually paint on this as well. It's a nice surface. Um, it's neat because you could get a textured ground for your acrylics. This is a charcoal pencil. This is really quite nice. If I was a pastel artist, I would very much like this. This is neat because you can um, prime any surface to work your pastels on. You can put this on canvas, on a panel, um, onto board or papers of your choice that don't normally accept pastels and you can use it for pastels. So it's kind of spiff. Of course I have to add water to everything. That's the charcoal. Very interesting. This is water soluble graphite. And it doesn't dissolve everything. It's actually not blending as well as the as the charcoal did. Anyway, I'm also gonna put some a glaze down here. Let's see how that goes. So it says for pastels, but you can paint on it too. Wow, that's pretty neat to notice. Like it's stained. I put the color down and it and it was stained there for a while. I had to actually um, scrub it a little bit to get it up. a very staining absorbent staining surface it's pretty nice though neat it's really smooth it's really grippy it's slightly um, textured so I'm gonna scan this and you'll be able to see it on the blog it'll either be on the website or in the library the library you have to join the mailing list to get onto um, but it's where all the fun and free stuff is. Um, okay, so that's a golden acrylic ground for pastels. I think it would be a great, it's a really, really super, super fine. It's really super fine. It's really nice for, for painting on too, though I would like it, I think, better if it was white and not this kind of non-color. I could probably add a color to it. Okay, this is a golden absorbent ground. This is, um, has a fine pumice in it as well, or something, um, and it essentially turns any surface into a paper-like surface, so it's absorbent um, for, uh, for doing watercolor and staining effects on. Now, the more, I have probably two or three coats of this. You can thin it down with water and make it really, really smooth. Um, I tend to not fight with it and I just put some texture in um, on this anyway. There's some texture in here in the same way. The more coats that you use of this, um, the more absorbent it becomes. And I've used this stuff a lot and I found though that the, the more thicker you put the paint on or the more glazes you have over top, the less absorbent it becomes. It, uh, because the paint is, is, I guess, drying 
on the polymer resin and the polymer resin in the in the acrylic paint becomes your surface so it becomes less and less absorbent the more glazes you put on so your first few glazes are the most absorbent and give you the most paper-like texture so this is one of my favorite mediums um, because it allows the the acrylics to really act um, like a watercolor but unlike watercolor you get watercolor effects but you get you could still go in with lights over darks um, the one thing about acrylics though unlike watercolors is watercolors really really react with the water and surface tension is a really big part of of the tech the textures that and the backwashes that happen and and as it dries some areas will dry and become static and then other areas will continue to flow in a traditional watercolor acrylics watercolor effects don't do that they tend to just even out into a very um, gentle blend like this like I'm gonna get a little bit of backwashing effects and you can get it too when you add more wet of an acrylic into a dried acrylic I can get more textured effects and backwash watercolor type effects but generally this is what you get to see with with a watercolor effect with acrylic is um, a gentle kind of uniform blend which is really beautiful okay so that's absorbent ground um, one of my favorites you can use this in in um, in compilation in compilation in partnership with a lot of the flow aids and the flow improvers which are going to help break um, break the surface tension of the the mucusy water the mucusy of the acrylic when you're adding a polymer medium to help thin it down um, flow improver and flow aid will help break that allow it to spread more in a watercolor fashion but not have the, bri the binder break down okay you, you can't add too much water to acrylics okay so acrylic ground for pastels golden absorbent ground um, I'm going to put these onto the site uh, I'm gonna scan them and post them on the website they'll either be on the regular blog area as a post or it'll be uh, in the library um, and the library is password protected so you have to join the mailing list in order to get um, access to all the the free goodies back there okay so take a look see what this stuff looks like uh, up close you'll be able to open up a much bigger file to take a look at it okay thanks a lot um you can check out my site it's lesliedavidson.com l-e-z-l-e-y-d-a-v-i-d-s-o-n or peeling-onions.com um they get you to the same place okay i still have more i have a lot of kind of flow improver and flow aid and slow drying mediums coming up next okay um i'll see you again